doing some morning yoga. Look at this view. Isn't that a bad way to start the day? So this is my brickie. Got some veggie pho and ginger tea in this cold day. Perfect. The weather today is a little bit foggy, so I'm gonna save my trekking for tomorrow just because you really can't see too much since the fog and I got time so I'll just wait for a better day so right now I'm gonna walk to town uh, town is eight kilometers away ETA about two two and a half hours so when I get there I think I'm gonna treat myself go get myself a massage and go to the sauna I've done a quick bit of research and there's a few hotels that do it so I uh, wouldn't mind relaxing for today uh, since I have been riding for a few days straight, it's good to unwind and, you know, get the body back to normal. Yeah! So I'm pretty much there. Eight kilometers uphill. It's getting pretty hot underneath, but it's all right. Need to do a bit of working out before my relaxation. Now we're quite high up the mountains. That why that's why you can see all these beautiful kind of landscapes. Pretty cool. I'm really liking this kind of mother nature landscapes and things like that. That's the real reason I did come this way to kind of get away from all those hectic cities. So I just got to the Sapa Bell and Spa, so I'm going with the Swedish massage and that does get me um, the steam room and sauna as well. So I think I'm going to go for an hour to just release some of that tension. Now what the hell's going on here? Two toilets next to each other. So first up, the sauna. You also get these fancy pantsy shorts with it. Two hours later. Oi! I'm pretty fucking wrecked now. Oh, that was good. Just what the doctor needed. Damn. Some dinner. I couldn't resist a cheeky kebab traveler. So you probably can't see shit, nor can I. It's fucking foggy and I'm not going to walk back so hopefully someone can give me a ride home. Hitchhike. I pay, I swear. So why is it frozen yet? It's foggy here pretty quickly. Uh, just heading to dinner with uh, the homestay family. So I extended my uh, stay here for one more night. Uh, didn't end up doing the trekking. I think there is trekking in the next place and it's a bit less touristy. So I'm just going to do it there. Um, yeah, not much to do today. I've done some exploring on the motorbike around town. But this will be my last night in around Sapa, Tavan. It's been great, relaxing, and um, back on the bike tomorrow to the next place. Cock riding the bike. <laughs> so we got a dinner prepared by the family. Uh, real chicken on hot plate, and then fry beef. With the pineapple coming. Oh, something different. This. See that Scott Spring can have see that. Scott Spring can he pack the gewoon op hoor. Hij is niet bang. See that. And that's it from Tavan in Sapa. 
I'm actually going to miss this place, it was quite chilled out, um, really nice scenery, quite cheap as well, but it's off to the next place, there's plenty more to see. And this is my new room, lovely decor, um, just another pit stop, I could have kept going if I wanted to but I feel like four and a half hours is enough, um, definitely felt a lot better stretching at every hour on the stop, I think that I'm going to be incorporating that into my bike rides, since as though you feel a ton better because when you're on your bike you're kind of slashed over, so yeah that's going to be my new tactic and going to get some food and relax. So this town's a bit of a ghost town, not as easy to find street food as like, you know, a lot of other places like Thailand and things like that. But um, there is one thing that when you travel to Asia, especially Vietnam I've noticed, it's something uh, called the white tax. Now this is when they do inflate prices if you are of, uh, you know, white skin, so uh, they can, uh, you know, charge a little bit more. But in my case, seeing as though that I'm not actually fully white and I can pass as somewhat Vietnamese, they sometimes assume that I can speak the language. Hello! I can speak the language um, and I am sort of local. So that's how I've been getting by and um, yeah, I just try not to open my mouth and just point and so they don't rip me off and I don't get the white tax. It's worked a few times but when I gotta like you know, ask him a question, then that's when I get the white tax. But yeah, try and learn the language, and then you might not get ripped off. This ice cream ain't bad. Banana, which is wrapped in coconut. <laughs> Munchies. Just a cheeky dinner. Hey! Ciao! Tonight's dinner, banh mi, egg, and popcorn. I'd say another movie night. Yeah, this town is quite ghost town. None going on. Good morning, world. It's a little bit foggy here in this small town. Uh, just gonna get some fur for breakfast. It seems like my kind of common theme now, I'm kind of used to it, to eat noodle soup for breakfast. Um, yeah, and then I've only got a two hour drive to my next destination, so that's going to be quite easy. A little bit of drizzle at the moment, so I'm going to wait till it clears because it's not fun walking in the rain. A little bit dangerous as well. And um, yeah, I get to my next place and relax a little bit and get back. So I'm just going to skip noodles today, got tofu, some rice, veggies, and a little bit of meat there. Here we go, my little breakfast here. Just before I hit the road, fill up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Got hooked up with the free soup as well. Ah. This food here is excellent. So cheap as well. All this is like maybe four bucks. I 
have reached my next destination. I'm actually at a hostel for a change. Um, I don't think anyone's here, so it's just me at the moment. Got my little food station here going on. Spring rolls and fur. So this is pretty much DIY spring rolls. Get your roll, put in lettuce, put in some of this, and then dip in away. Just like that. So going back for more. It's the bomb diggity. I love spring rolls. Mm -mm. So that's it for tonight. I am gonna go get some bed, some rest, and in the morning work out what I'm gonna do. But I think I'm gonna start the northern loop. Not sure with who or what, but I'll work it out then. Peace and love in the desert. <laughs>